The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario is not happy with the government's decision to keep students in at-home learning until September. Joining me now to discuss this is Etfo Halton's District President, Kathy Proctor. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. My pleasure. Nice so, Kathy, let's get right into it. Uh, so, the government announces, you know, plans for reopening, but in that same announcement, they talk about a school remaining at an at home learning model. Why is ETFO concerned about this? Why are they not happy with it? Well, we all know as teachers, as professionals, that schools are the best place for students. Students learn much better in person than they do in a mode like this. It's not easy to have those connections through a computer. So teachers want to be in class with their students and this does not allow that to happen. But, you know, throughout this uh, pandemic, we talked about, um, and, and many unions right across talked about the safety concerns that you had with teachers not getting vaccinated and also concerns about opening too early for these teachers to get vaccinated. Doesn't that kind of help having them uh, closed up until September, give the government en enough time to catch up to make sure that our schools reopen safely? Certainly schools need to reopen safely in September and having the time to get a second shot, a second vaccination will help. But all of this could have been avoided from the get go if the government had put into place all the measures needed to ensure that schools will have been safe all along. Better funding for smaller class sizes, that, that's huge. We still have classes with 25 students in them. We can't have outdoor gatherings of more than five people still, but yet we can have classes of 25. So the government has failed to address the safety concerns of teachers and education workers and students throughout this school year. So what, what would you have liked the government to have done then in this announcement? Are you saying that it should have opened? Are you saying they should have done more measures to make sure it opens in these last three weeks? I mean, come on, are students gonna be even uh, paying attention to school in these last two weeks if they're made to go back to in school? Talk about that. Well, if the government had the ventilation in place, if the government had the smaller classes in place, it would have been safe to go back to school. If teachers had been vaccinated earlier, it would have been safe to go back to school, but they didn't. So it's kind of, you know, the what if game. What? Nobody wins in that game. And in this case, the students are the losers because they won't have the opportunity to finish out the school year with the teachers that they've made those connections with all year especially those that are graduating, no graduations and, and things like that. And okay, so in the last minute or so before we wrap up here, can you tell us what ETFO is now looking for now that it is close till uh, the end of the year? What are you looking for to make sure that September uh, is more successful than these past couple of years? So all those things that ETFO and all the teachers unions have been advocating for all year, making sure that proper PPE is in place. Teachers still don't have N95 masks. We have medical masks. Uh, that, that's a problem for those teachers who are working in very close proximity to students. The ventilation in many schools has not been improved. We know that COVID-19 is airborne and there are schools where you can't open the windows where the filters in the uh, in the ventilation system are filthy. They haven't been replaced. So those smaller class sizes, the ministry is planning on sending kids back to school in regular class sizes in September. So again, in some of our, with some of our older students, there could be classes of 30. We can't open restaurants. We have to social distance in restaurants and yet students can still be cheek to jowl in classrooms. So we need safety in our schools in order to have a safe September.